Shout out to Elam Al Sabin on Patreon for 21 months of support. Get weekly goods, tutorial files, mockups, templates, items from my store, and more, as well as supporting the free tutorials on my channel. Check out my Patreon in the description below. What's up, guys? Quezier Noah here, bringing you guys another tutorial. Today we're in Cinema 4D, and I'm going to be showing you how to create some cool abstract poly FX spheres. This is actually a pretty simple tutorial, and I'm actually going to be showing you the animation this time around. Usually I just show you a little bit of the animation, but today I'm going to be showing you the full thing, which is pretty cool. You can also use this for still renders and get a really cool effect. I'm going to be using my own personal Lightroom for this as well as a couple materials from my materials pack but really you don't need any of those to do this. You can easily set up some simple lights or download a free Lightroom and be good to go. And the material I'm using is just a simple reflective material. If you enjoy this video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, if we hit 100 likes on the video I'll put the project file in the description for you guys to download. It's available for my Patreons right now. Uh, but if you guys want it for free, be sure to hit the 100 like mark. Although I will be putting the file I create here in the description for you guys to download anyway without the materials or the Lightroom. Before we get started, I also want to mention that I'm doing a giveaway on my Twitter for my everything pack, which is everything in my store, including my Lightroom and materials. Actually, all my Lightrooms and all my materials. So if that interests you, be sure to check that out and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm in my light studio, as you can see here, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete all this stuff and grab a sphere. And we're gonna dupli or double all um, these settings. So we're gonna go to 200 and then 32 for the segments. And I'm gonna drag this up so it's a little more centered. I'm gonna go to, to display and shading lines. And I don't want the type to be standard. I'm actually gonna use the isosahedron, I believe. That's how it's said. Uh, it's made with a bunch of triangles. So I want a bunch of triangular shapes. If you want different ones, you can go through these settings and mess around. Also, you could add a subdivision surface to uh, get even more different looks, um, but I just want the standard triangle. Go to MoGraph and get the PolyFX and add that into the sphere. And then with the PolyFX selected, we want to go to MoGraph Effector Plane. And you should get this pretty wicked looking effect. Um, and we want to go to the position, uncheck that, check scale, check uniform and absolute scale and set it to minus one. And then we want to go to fall off shader field and, or go here to the left setting. It might say like box field or something else, but we want to go to shader field. And then where it says shader, you want to go to the drop down and do noise. And you might've seen this like a thousand times in my previous Cinema 4D tutorials because something that you do a lot using the shader effector, but click the little thumbnail Pick whatever shader you want to use. I'm going to go ahead with the, um, actually, let's do the cool box one, the um, mod noise. Yeah, so this is like all the little Minecraft pixel looking things. Um, and let's go ahead and set the global scale to like 800 or something big. And then we want to go down to contrast, hike that up. And I'm going to hike it up pretty far. Maybe we even increase the low clip decrease the high clip so you want some gaps and you want some full parts so something like this works you can also just mess around with different noises and different settings and you can always come back to this later on so uh, feel free to set it to whatever you want i'm going to bring my sphere to the top real fast and on that shader field uh, i forgot to mention we want to add some animation stuff so animation speed i want to be one and then loop period could be whatever i'm going to set mine to 10 that should be fine and that should animate um, and as you can see, it won't because I forgot to go to plane and check frame and now it will animate. So I want to jack up my frames to maybe like 200 or let's do 21, um, 210 that is. And that should be seven seconds long. And we have a little animation going on. So you could do more to the animation. Uh, I just like the simple changing the noise. I forgot to mention a little plugin that I'm going to be using and it's... Over here, um, the Pi Parametric Tools, I think that's how you say it. Um, and I think this is from Maxon themselves. It's free to download and you can just add it to your plugins. But if we go there and go to the first one, the Extrude Generator, add the sphere to it, it just creates some extrude nerbs for us basically and, and extrudes those polygons we have. And if we go to that and set the offset to negative 10, they will go inwards. And then if we create a cap, it's now capped off and we now have 
a more three-dimensional shape to all of that. And I use negative 10, you could use whatever number you want, um, probably in the negative though, because you want it to go inwards towards the center of the sphere. Now we want to go to the cloner and we want to duplicate this in on itself. So add that to the cloner, set the count to about 20, leave it at linear, and then come to your Y and make sure that's zero. So you actually won't be able to tell there's any copies of this, but with the cloner selected, if you go to MoGraph, Effector, Step, and then you can see this duplicates outwards. Again, we want it to go inwards. So go to parameter and go to like minus 0.3 or some negative number. And you can see it goes inwards like that. And that looks really cool in my opinion. Uh, but I also want to add a little bit of a rotation. So if we check rotation, I did 10 as like a basis for mine. And you can see you get a little rotation, but you could crank this up. Like maybe we go to 40 and you get that. So you can get some different interesting looks by doing that. Um, and it becomes more spherical and hides the gaps less. I like it to be around 10 um, because it's a subtle rotation, but it kind of works um, as the same shape. Uh, as you can see without the lines, that's what it looks like. Now you might notice that right here, the shapes start to blend in. If you don't like that, you could add a bevel to the um, generator there. So add a bevel. Uh, but that really slows everything down and also I don't think it's worth the look. Um, but if you're doing a still, it might be worth it. Once we're happy with that shape, we want to select all those elements and go to Alt G um, or Alt G to put it into a null and then copy and paste it with Command C, Command V. Go to um, this duplicated one, hide the step and the cloner. Go to the extrude generator and make that um, positive something. So I'll do 20. And you can see that will extrude it out. Um, now it looks a little wonky because it's still the same shape, but if we go to the shader and go in there and increase the brightness to make those shapes a little smaller, you can see we get littler shapes on top of the bigger ones, which creates like kind of a greeble effect. But I think it looks really cool. As you can see, this is what we have. Now I'm gonna go and grab my material that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this blue and I'm actually gonna duplicate it. So I have two and I'm just gonna come in and make this one white. By the way, these are in the um, solid color part of my material pack V8. So I just had to turn all those shaders to white. So now we have a white material and I'm gonna add that to the extrude generator on both of these. And now that's white. Now I'm gonna add a meta ball in the middle of this. If you're not familiar with meta balls, it's a pretty simple Cinema 4D effect. So I'm not gonna cover the tutorial here, uh, but it's gonna be in the depth of the free download for you guys anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in and kind of line it up. And these are spread out using a shader and they have the same sort of animation on the shader as um, our poly FX effect. You can see I added the blue material to those meta balls. So they will change size and move around inside. Now I want to go ahead and add two more things real quick. And that those are two lights. So I'm going to go to a, my light, add a light, and this is going to be a light blue, similar to the color of the meta balls. So we're going to add that the meta balls are actually slightly greener. And we want this to be in the middle of our shape. So let me just bring it forward slightly and have it on the inside of that shape. And then we're gonna duplicate it, Command C, Command V, bring it over to the right and bring it forward towards the camera. And this one's gonna be pink. And then we wanna knock the intensity down to, I don't know, 60. And we could knock the intensity down to this middle one, but we'll see how it looks first. So let's give it a little render. And there's our cool little alien sphere with poly FX. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Quezzy. Check out that giveaway I'm doing. Follow my Instagram, that's Quezzy. Check out my Patreon if you want to download all the project files and stuff from my store and a bunch of just weekly goods and things like that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.